Hello wonderful parents. In today's video, we're going to show you a simple and fun way to track your baby's height growth at home. Watching your little one grow and change is such a special part of the first year, and we'll walk you through exactly how to measure their height safely and accurately. Tracking your baby's height growth at home can be a fun and rewarding way to keep an eye on their development, and it doesn't require any special tools beyond a few basics. It's not only a way to monitor their physical progress, but also an opportunity to bond with your baby. Whether you choose to jot down their height in a baby journal, mark it on the wall, or track it digitally, seeing those small but consistent changes over time can be incredibly exciting. First, let's talk about what you need to measure your baby's height. You'll want a soft measuring tape or a yardstick, something flexible and easy to use. A flat surface is also important. A firm floor or changing table can work perfectly. Having a second pair of hands, like a partner or a family member, can make the process smoother too, especially with a wiggly baby, who may not be too keen on staying still. When measuring your baby's height, it's best to lay them down on their back. Make sure their head is straight and flat against the surface and their legs are fully extended. If your baby is squirming a lot, don't worry. You can gently stretch out their legs without applying too much pressure, as the goal is to get as accurate a measurement as possible without causing discomfort. Once they're in position, use the measuring tape to measure from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Make sure to write down the measurements so you can track progress over time. It's helpful to repeat this process every few weeks or at least monthly to track their growth pattern. Keep in mind that babies grow rapidly in the first year, especially during growth spurts, and it's completely normal for some months to see more growth than others. Some parents enjoy keeping a growth chart where they can visually see their baby's height progress. Aside from using a simple measuring tape at home, there are also online calculators and apps available where you can input your baby's height and get a sense of how their growth compares to typical patterns for their age. These tools can be useful for reassurance, though it's important not to become too fixated on numbers. Every baby is unique and grows at their own pace. If you have concerns about your baby's growth, it's always best to consult with your pediatrician who can guide you on what to expect and whether your baby's growth is on track. Measuring your baby's height at home is a great way to stay engaged with their development, and it's simple enough to make it a regular part of your routine. Whether it's marking on a wall or adding it to your digital notes, those small changes are a reminder of how quickly your baby is growing and changing. Plus, these memories will be wonderful to look back on in the years to come. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you enjoy tracking your baby's growth. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more parenting tips, and leave a comment below with your own tracking experiences. See you in the next video.